Discussion Podcast. I am your host, Roman Sanzo, and we got a review for you this week. In today's episode review, we are going to review uh, My Little Pony, Pony Life episode number 22, well, season 1, episode number 22. Uh, and in this episode, uh, we are going to review Hoof Done It and Dear Tabby. In Hoof Done It, Rarity adopts her detective persona to solve the mystery of an abandoned piece of clothing. Mm. And in Dear Tabby, Applejack has a falling out with Rarity and seeks advice from her favorite online blogger. So, uh, I guess first impressions are in order. And with Hoof Done It, 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 was, it was pretty interesting. We we get the detective rarity persona back. Uh, I forgot where we saw. Um, te- oh, sorry. Uh, where we saw the detective rarity episode in, but oh, wait, if I'm not mistaken, it was Candlelight with the yes, 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 yes. And I remember it was with uh, how um, she tried to prove uh, Rainbow Dash's innocence. Yes. Over there, that was fun. <clears throat> Over here, it was kind of silly. But hence, Pony Life. And in Dear Tabby, eh, it was okay. It was okay. It's it's one of those episodes, or it's one of those, yeah, it's one of those episodes where you get a feel for how um, th- this kind of thing where Applejack's stubbornness gets the best of her and in this scenario here, there's a lesson. Uh, funny enough, there is a lesson. And I'll try to remember the lesson when we get to the conclusion. But anywho, let's hop right into it. If you have not watched this episode yet, pause here and go watch it. <clears throat> welcome back, welcome back. So we start off the episode with Pinkie Pie trying to build a pyramid tower of rolling pins. And Rarity telling her it's not a great idea. And the pyramid tower collapses, and yeah, Pinky says, "You're right, Rarity. We're right." And Pinky just asks, "How do you keep everything so organized?" Um, Rarity says she has something about uh, what you call this a um, organizer or something like that, and she decides to share it with Pinky. So she goes back home and the settings suddenly change to very dark and mysterious kind of alleyway, which in all honesty, um, Ponyville doesn't have. And the, su- the surrounding looks like, in all honesty, it looks like um, Manhattan. Yep. <laughs> So anyway, um, Rarity walks back home, thinking about where she put her organizer to give to Pinky, and stumbles across a visor. You know, one of those things where it's kind of a hat, but there's no top, just kind of the thingy. Google it, you'll know. So anyway, Rarity uh, spots the visor and wonders, who could this piece of um article or piece of clothing whatever it is uh could belong to and vinyl walks around or walks on screen and rarity asks vinyl is this yours and vinyl in a very creative way answers no so yes <laughs> with that rarity picks up the visor and decides to interrogate her friends or the first pony she meets but anywho um, with that I'm gonna pause here so um, the start of the episode is just pretty normal pony vi- uh, sorry, pony life kind of shenanigans where the characters do something and uh, it will lead them into the story. So this is one of those things where uh, it's been the, the formula has been done 
in a lot of other shows. I'm not saying that um, Pony Life did it or did it well. I mean, it's one of those things where it's been done and it's kind of creative. And also, you have to remember that each episode is about um, oh, wow, um, five to yeah, five minutes, give or take. If, if you uh, deduct the intro and outro, that could be what around thirty seconds. So you minus thirty seconds front and back, and you add in the show. Uh, generously, I'm gonna give it a generous amount. Um, five minutes each for the first part and second part of the um chapters. So anywho, um, for a five minute chapter, the way that they lead into the story is pretty okay. It's 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 not the um and all be all of creativeness of whatnot, but it's pretty interesting. I do enjoy the kind of formula that they're going with. And, you know, it's one of those things where if you are a creative person uh, in terms of storytelling, be it writing, movie making, or even uh, Dungeons, Dungeons and Dragons, you could use what you see in media and try to emulate it or try yeah try to emulate it it might prove well i might use this kind of concept to lead in the players to certain actions or certain scenarios but anywho but anywho <clears throat> getting back on track um dj poon is fun dj poon was fun uh her appearance was pretty awesome it's been a while but anywho uh, let's carry on carry on so rarity walks to a, a, I won't say cave, but it's an overhead or tunnel or whatever driving through. So um, she walks and appears in the park where she sees Fluttershy and Angel Bunny snapping hoofs. I don't know how to do it, but roll with it. So this is pretty mysterious because night out, gloomy, dark. And suddenly, you see Fluttershy, the most timid one, there, like, oh no, oh, this is mysterious, ooh. So, uh, Rarity meets up with Fluttershy and says, what are you doing here? And do you know who this hat belongs to? Um, Fluttershy just says, no, I don't think so, I know. And I'm just gathering here because... Um, we're meeting some of Angel Bunny's relative and doing some kind of interpretive dance performance something. <laughs> uh, so, um, with that out of the way, um, Fluttish, like, Rarity moves on to the next um, pony and the next pony is Twilight. Oh, by the way, Fluttershy mentioned something about Twilight can corroborating to her, what you call this, uh, corroborating to her alibi. Because uh, it seems that Twilight was the one that reminded Fluttershy about the date because she has his own, on she has it down on her calendar something like that. So anyway, um, Rarity interrogates Twilight about the visor and whatnot and. Who does it belong to? And Twilight confessed that I got no idea, but honestly, I love visors, but visors do not look good on me. And uh, she wore the visor and oh god, it looks terrible on her. Like really, really bad because of her bangs. <laughs> uh, the art just ain't doing much. So Rarity believes her and Rarity moves on to the next pony. Oh, oh, sorry, I, I forgot. I always forgot this part. There's always a lead-in uh, where Twilight just says, oh, why don't you ask Applejack? Because Applejack has uh, looks good in hats. So she does. She goes to Sugar Cube Corner. Sorry, no. Uh, Sweet Apple Acres and meet up. Well, not really meet, but spies on Applejack. And Applejack just says, howdy, because um, Rarity ain't hiding that well, but anywho, uh, Rarity asks Applejack, 
do you know who this visor belongs to? And Applejack says, ain't me and I can't lie. Oh, brilliant deduction. With that uh, flawless argument and alibi, Rarity has no one to um, talk to or no, no lead in. Uh, I believe that she, well, Rarity goes back to her quote-unquote office and decides to try and interrogate Rainbow Dash because she's one of the other friends that she haven't talked to. So, Rain, uh, sorry, um, Rarity goes up to Rainbow Dash and asks, you know who this visor belongs to? Where have you been for the past hour and whatnot? And Rainbow Dash just says, I've been in the gym, working out. Rarity disbelieves her because, wait, you've been in the gym for about an hour plus. And um, Rainbow Dash shows Rarity all of her workout regimens. And they take a really, really long time. So with that failure, Rain <laughs> Rarity goes back to her hideout and... Uh, tries to find, sorry, um, this can thinks of a solution or the answer to her clue or mystery, until she remembered that hey, I got something I need to hand over to Pinkie Pie. So she goes into the back room, looks for it, and uh, kind of rummage around and stuff, and ponder to herself, hmm, I wonder where did my visor go, and suddenly it. Hit her. I wonder if that comes in. <laughs> Sorry, uh, and it, 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 uh, it hits her that the whole time that she's been um, carrying around her visor that she quote unquote lost and found. Oh, silly rarity. And with that, that's the end of Who've Done It. And let's move on to the next one, Dear Tabby. So, anyway, in Dear Tabby. We start off the episode with Pinkie Pie creating some uh, firecracker, firework cupcakes where they explode and whatnot. It's very interesting. It's very innovative. Yes. So, anywho, um, Pinkie is trying to create something new and uh, it's not quite working as well, and she she's having some hard time. Uh, Applejack walks in and asks what's up and whatnot. Uh, Applejack, uh, Pinky explains that about her situation, and Applejack says, "Oh, um, if you want advice, why don't you ask Tabby? Uh, ask dear Tabby because." The Tabby is the kind of advice giver, giving pony, and nobody really knows her secret and whatnot. And she is a really awesome uh, pony. So uh, she describes that um, pony sends prob, uh, so <laughs> pony sends um, uh, asks for advice from the Tabby, and she or he, whatever pony is. Um, answers them and gives them uh, some very, what you call this, um, valuable or insightful answers. So that's how the story goes. Um, <clears throat> I, I, I'm trying to remember because this is one of those things where um, it's pretty hard to remember because it's so unmemorable. <laughs> my, 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 friend. But anyway, um, uh, Pinkie Pie just says, hmm, I wonder who this dear Tabby could be. I mean, it could be any pony. It could be me. Or even, doors opens, it's Spike. Ha 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 ha. It can never be Spike. <laughs> Spike ain't no pony. <laughs> so, uh, with that, uh, Spike just walks off and here comes in Rarity. Rarity comes in looking for some snack and she is kind of 
uh, taking or playing the role of a, uh, well, how would I put this in the most simplest of ways? Um, Khaleesi from Game of Thrones. She even has the whole throne thing going for her in the background in her mind, whatever it is. And it's it's very interesting. It's very interesting. So, anywho, getting back right on track. Rarity's there looking for a snack. And she's looking for some cupcakes. Applejack just suggests, why don't you have some apples? And they bent around giving some really good wordplay. And as the, I won't say, yeah, it's kind of argument. Mostly debate, but debate for Applejack argument for, sorry, um, debate for Rarity argument for Applejack. So as they go back and forward, um, Applejack kind of tells Rarity she's a big dum-dum for liking cupcakes and whatnot. And with that, Rarity feels offended of the whole matter because to her, she thought this was kind of a wordplay game where, ah, let's see how we can um, combat with our, what you would call this, vocabularies and whatnots. Yes, hmm. But uh, Applejack took it too personally and offended Rarity. And with that, Rarity left in a huff. And uh, Applejack, being really pissy about the whole situation, thought that she was not in the wrong and whatnot. And Pinkie Pie just says, Applejack, I think you should just go apologize to Rarity. I mean... It's you you guys didn't really mean it and whatnot, so um apologizing to her would be the best case. But Applejack says, nah, I ain't gonna take your advice. I'm gonna ask Tabby and um, dear Tabby and see what she has to uh, say. And she writes down in her uh, questionnaire or questions. Let's see if I can find the uh transcript for the whole thing okay let's see um <clears throat> okay uh, so anywho um applejack writes to tabby saying dear tabby i just had a passionate debate with one of my best friends and now we are take we aren't talking how do I get to apologize? <laughs> How do I get her to apologize? Sign a frustrated Philly. So, mm -hmm. this is one of those things where I I see problems, and I'm gonna save that for later if I can. So, anywho, um. Applejack waits for a reply from Tabby and it doesn't come soonish because I don't know, Tabby could be busy. So a few days pass, we see Rainbow Dash is helping Pinkie Pie clean up Sugar Cube Corner and comes here comes in Applejack. Applejack is still a bit miffed about the whole situation and tells the girl that uh, Tabby didn't answer yet, so she's just waiting for a reply. So the next day comes, um, we see everybody gather up to Sugar Cube Corner, and Applejack says, Yo, uh, Tabby replied, but I haven't read it yet. Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash says, Read, 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 you wanna know, you wanna know. And let's see if I can find the transcript here. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, here we go. Um, the reply goes as, Dear Frustrated, What an un... What an uncomfortable position to be in. See? No, no, okay, that's uh, Applejack saying the word. Okay, okay. Disagreement often happens between friends when some 
ponies feeling are hurt. You're right. You do need to get talking again. And the first step to mending the fence is by apologizing to her. <laughs> so it's the same advice that what Rainbow Dash and Pinkie Pie have give Rarity all, sorry, Pink, Applejack all along. Um, Applejack is a myth at this because she doesn't really want to because, how do I put this? Applejack wants to hear the answer that she wants to or share the uh, yeah and doesn't really want to hear the answer that doesn't align with her but swallowing her pride applejack says yeah i'll i'll go and apologize and yeah because applejack sorry rarity is my friend and all so we cut away to Rarity, who is in Khaleesi mode with the flames, with the costume, the hair, and poor Spike being chained up. I'm sure. I'm mm, not even gonna go there. Good joke, but not even gonna go there. Anywho, we, we see Applejack comes in and apologize to Rarity and whatnot, uh, saying that. It was uncalled for for her to do so and whatnot. And um, Rarity saying that, yeah, I, I, I appreciate you as a friend. I don't want to lose you too. And um, just uh, they apologize and they make up. And Rarity, sorry, Applejack tells, ah, uh, the advice from the Tabby really worked well. I mean, I mean we, we, it got us talking and whatnot. And already, oh, because I am dear Tabby. Ha ha. And uh, Applejack is shocked and awed by this and promised to not give her secret away. Yep, yep. Uh, winky, why not? And with that, Sugar Cute Corner explodes and Applejack and Rarity goes to help. Yay, with the episode ends. Okay, uh, what do I have to say about this episode? Let's go back to Who've Done It. Who've Done It is interesting. It's it's pretty how do I put this? It's pretty s straightforward in terms of uh, storytelling. It's a mystery of uh, who is the culprit and how do I solve the problem, but at the same time. It's kind of dumb because the answer is right in front of your face. It's rarities, things. It's, oh God. But it was really entertaining. And the whole noir storyline is told in black and white, which is kind of cool. Uh, we start off the episode with it being in color, then going to black and white. Then when rarity goes to look for something, it goes back into color. So... It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool in terms of how the episode was told. And in Dear Tabby, this one, okay, I'm guessing that the messages that Rarity gets are anonymous and nobody knows who wrote it and whatnot. So with that, Rarity could have known it was about her and Applejack and gave the advice soundly. But at some point, you have to remember that this is one of those things where this is the Applejack problem, where Applejack is just being stubborn for stubborn sake, even though she ha she is the even-minded uh, pony around. Even in the first few episodes of Pony Life, she is kind of the um, breaking the fourth wall pony, saying that... Um, this is going to be silly and whatnot. But I, I get it. I get it. It, it. It's the way that they want to tell the story and it works. Uh, do I have anything more to add to that? Not really. I mean, the story was fun and all. And, all, and the cameo or the, whatchamacallit, this, uh, the, 
the Easter eggs and whatnot, they were pretty fun. Like blatant um parody of Rarity becoming the Queen of Dragons and whatnot. It was pretty fun. It was pretty fun. But anywho, if you <laughs> sorry, but anywho, let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at themishowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show. And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and stay to the radio. And also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on from the black.com. Links are in the show notes. If you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to the review discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank tonight, Jeffrey, myself, Lag, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode with you. Yeah, with another fun episode review. I'll guys, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.